ladies and gentlemen welcome back we're gonna be working on this beautiful d16 z6 i got the block and the head but uh we're just gonna start off with this we're gonna be transforming it from this to this it's gonna take quite a bit of work but we're gonna make it happen i took this block to the machine shop to get it like hot tank to clean it along with the cylinder head and i also actually sent the oil pan that came out really good let me show you guys the inside of it real quick they hot tank that so that's like perfectly clean and then they also cleaned the valve cover for me and they um, resurfaced the head just to make sure it wasn't like warped or anything i don't think it was but you know just that extra insurance were already there but i got it hot tanked and i'm happy with how clean it is but like if you look close there's like a bunch of i don't know it's i don't know if it's dirt that just got stuck on I don't, it's not dirt though it's like just build up from whatever the hell it has i already went ahead and like tested a wire wheel on here and it actually is looking like it's doing a really good job i don't need to have it perfect but i definitely at least want it looking better than that because although i'm not trying to go for a show car i still want it to look really good so we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the wire wheel all the way around let me show you this side so this is the front side right here and look at how bad it looks right there it just it's weird because it's clean but it's not so the wire wheel is gonna transform this thing it's gonna take like i said a little bit of work but we're actually just gonna do the front side here and the back side because obviously we don't need to do anything in here this is the timing belt side and then we got the side over here where the transmission mates up and that came out really good i'm starting with high hopes of this engine looking clean with that original aluminum finish but as i'm going through and starting to clean off the scaling i quickly realized that it just wasn't going to be an option a ver, ustedes qué opinan? What's your guys' opinion? Because I am taking like the dust looking shit off, but like you can see that it looks pitted. I don't know. It just, it's showing its age, man. I think it has about between 150, 200,000 miles just from the condition that it was in before I took it to the machine shop and like leaks that it had and like the condition of the bearings that's my guess is probably on the closer end to 200,000. so i don't think it's gonna be a good idea to keep going with the wire wheel just because although it is cleaning it up i don't think i'm gonna be able to do a good enough job like taking all the ugly shit off before like starting to dig into the like cast aluminum and causing damage to the block you know what i'm saying so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just paint this thing because i think it'll make it look a lot better rather than having it shiny like that but with pits in it it just it's i can already see it's gonna look bad you know what i'm saying After deciding to paint the block, I just put my head down and started going in with the wire wheel trying to get as much of that scaling off as possible. Also busting out the wire brush to try to get into the nooks and crannies, but without spending an excessive amount of time. Look at this side right here, man. So like I was saying, it's clean from the machine shop, but like look at it. It looks like it has fucking mold or some shit, man. Se está pudriendo la vez. <laughs> And then look, see, so I also tried another spot up here. I forgot about that. And it just looks pitted, man. I don't know what it is with that finish, man. So we're just going to try to take as much as that off without spending too much time. And she going to get painted, man. We just going to spray and pray. You can actually start to see how much dust is coming off of this thing, which wouldn't be a good thing if I just sprayed over it because eventually the paint would start to fall off so at least with this even though we're not getting it exactly perfect it gives us a way better chance of the paint holding on and the end product looking a lot better
all right guys i got the block pretty much all cleaned up um i mean the wire wheels didn't do as good as a job as i thought with like the scaling on it but um it'll do as long as there's like you know it's as long as it's sanded a little bit the paint will have something good to grab onto and it should look a lot better now what i'm gonna do is um tape the holes here because there's threads and i don't want them to get messed up with the paint but before I do that, I want to go ahead and spray this down with some wax and grease remover and then dry it off with some compressed air. That way it's as clean as it can be. And then we'll go ahead and start taping her off. I'm using the wax and grease remover along with the compressed air just as a final little clean. I'm not scrubbing anything anymore. We already did that with the wire wheel and we got it clean at the machine shop. So this is just to get any of the last little dust and debris that may have uh, got left on there and after that I started cutting up pieces of tape to start taping up this block which is actually one of the parts that takes the longest is masking this thing it always just takes way longer than you think but wanting to do a good job and knowing that the devil is in the details is what motivates me because it's also what separates the average man from a man who does great things all right guys this thing is finally ready to go look at all the work like it doesn't seem like a lot but once you start taping everything off like we got back here too so it wouldn't go in here we got all up here looking really good the timing side and then the back side of the engine but once you start doing it man it takes it takes a minute look at the bottom too so i did one whole piece running from up here all the way down that way we wouldn't have any breaks in the tape that way it doesn't get up into the bearing area uh we should probably put another piece right here i'm gonna put another piece here so it sticks and no like overspray gets in there but yeah after about an hour and a half of taping she's finally ready to go man this is the last time hopefully that it's gonna look like that i'm i'm praying that the paint like gets in between the pitting and stuff and like actually levels it out and has this thing looking almost brand new we'll see what happens all right real quick i just realized i haven't shown what i'm gonna use it's the vht flame proof so this is the primer I got. You could use whatever color there is. It doesn't really matter. But just to get the max adhesion on here, that way it doesn't come off. And then this is the one we're gonna go with here. So you can see the difference. This one like gives off that like aluminum look. So that's what we're gonna go with. Same thing, flame proof, should hold up. I'm starting off with the primer because that's what the VHT recommends. That way you get better adhesion to the metal and it just provides a solid foundation for the color to lay onto. So if I didn't use the primer, you would kind of still see the pitting underneath because the color is just color. And the primer has a little bit of build to it that helps level off the surface and have that better smooth finish at the end. Now you don't necessarily need to use the gray primer, you can use whatever color they have, but since the color is gray, it'll be easier to get coverage if we use a similar color of primer. All right, there's the first coat, super light. You can still see through it a little bit. I just wanted it to be like a tack coat so that way we don't get any runs. And then you got this side too. She looks dusty right now still, but got to look uglier before it can look better all right guys it's been about i don't know between like seven and ten minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and do the next coat and then after i think i'm gonna do just two coats and then after that the can says to let it dry for 30 minutes before spraying vht proof color so after this we're gonna have to let it chill for about half an hour until we can actually see the transformation. All right, 
my bitches and gentlemen that's after the second coat of primer it's looking a lot more uniform looks pretty good still really gray though check out this other side i think it is covering the pitting like i wanted to there's some spots like right here where it just still looks kind of ass but i think the color is really going to take care of it all right guys it's been about 25 minutes i'm just going to go ahead and start spraying here's the color once again hopefully this changes it because right now it looks smoother with the primer but i don't know that shit still looks kind of weird it's not it's not finished you know what i'm saying Yes, we, yes, yes. Instant transformation, my boy. Hell yeah. Whew. I'm happy that that was a lot of work. That was a lot of work, man. I've been taking it to work, working on like taking all that scaling off at during my lunch at work and shit. So that makes me, that makes me happy. Let's go. Now that I know that the color is going to be on point, I can relax and settle in a little bit and just spray the color with confidence because I wasn't sure exactly if it was going to work or not, if it was going to look too fake and tacky or if it was actually going to hit. And, and this is a big moment for me because I've never had a nice looking engine. They've just always been kind of crusty and I've had a deal All with right, it. All right, guys, the engine block is ready to go. I've had it in and out of the sun for like two three days and i've also when i get home from work since it's been sitting in the sun it's kind of hot so then i use the heat gun to get even more heat into it to kind of like give it the baking effect that way the paint adheres to the block a lot better because now like i could rub my nail on it and it feels like legit but before if you don't like bake it you can kind of feel the paint has like some uh i don't know it feels kind of soft if that makes sense i don't you guys would have to paint in order to know what i'm talking about but yeah she's ready to go and now what's gonna make this thing look even more legit is once i take off all the tape that's covering the holes in the threads and stuff because i still have it all taped up especially back here too but before i do that i've been working on the cylinder head and yeah i've been thinking about this for a little bit because back here i just didn't want to bore you guys with more of just the same using the wire wheel on the drill but but um back here this is the intake side the back of the the back of the engine that goes between or that goes facing the firewall so you won't ever really see this so i'm debating i don't think i'm gonna paint the back side of this just because it cleaned up so good with the wire wheel and i just don't think we need to you know what i'm saying so i think i'm gonna leave that i don't care judge me <laughs> but uh the front here i also wanted to show you the difference here look how good this side looks compared to here that's how it started it has all that scaling so and then the exhaust comes out to right here so we won't need to paint that but obviously the see like this is the look i was going for right here but unfortunately the engine was just too far gone with the scaling to try to be able to take all that off within a timely manner and i just don't think we would have ever done that good of a job but yeah the front of the engine here i'm just, i am gonna paint it just so it can match the block and it doesn't look all weird but i just wanted to show you kind of the three different versions here of uh the stages from dirty to clean as hell and then the painting of it over there i mean the the block it still looks legit it looks good it just it doesn't look like fully official you know you could tell it's painted versus this here original aluminum finish but it's all good once it's all painted and put together it'll it'll actually look pretty legit so yeah, I'm just going to keep going with this and then we can spray the head and uh, 
keep going from there all right ladies and gentlemen we got the head all taped off it's looking real good masking it takes way longer than you think man especially like getting all up in here making sure we like cover around the studs real good that way it comes out real nice you know we don't have like any cut in so like where the paint would dip in because we didn't mask right but taking that extra time definitely i mean it's gonna be worth it man because this shit's gonna look so sick That was literally like 20 seconds or however long of spraying and it took like the better part of an hour to fucking mash that shit bro first coat i'll let it sit for like 10 10 minutes 5 10 minutes come spray it again and then we'll do the color i did two coats on everything two on the block so i'm gonna do two on the cylinder head two of primer two of color and that should give us the look we're going for i actually really do like the way the color's coming out obviously it's not the original shiny aluminum finish i was going for but it's close second man it looks really good perfect now we just gotta let it dry for like i don't know half an hour and then we can take this uh canopy off that way it can bake with the sun and now onto the crown jewel the valve cover. It was a lot easier to sand compared to the block or the head because there wasn't as many edges and I used a nickel here to cut out the pieces of tape for the bolt holes because it was a, a perfect fit. Alright guys we got the valve cover all taped off front and back sides. I got up in here so it doesn't look like there's anything up in there but she's all taped off i'm gonna be using the vht wrinkle plus so it's gonna give us a wrinkle finish which is what i want and i'm gonna do the red just because the car is gray so i figured a red valve cover would look fucking dope and um yeah should complement the car really good so it says here we have to apply three heavy coats in a crosshatch pattern and then allowing five minutes between each coat. So I have to, you have to do heavy coats in order for the wrinkle finish to actually pop up. Cause if you do light coats, then it's not gonna be as good as it should be. Now, even though I need to do wet coats, I need to be careful not to spray too heavy because I don't wanna get any runs. It's a little colder outside, it's about 75 degrees so it's harder for the paint to stick to the metal in those conditions so we got to spray with the extra caution but man does red look good when it's fresh all right so it's just like 15 minutes later just because it's i don't know like 75 maybe 80 degrees out here so i don't want it to run i already kind of got like something right here you could kind of see it Fuck, man. Oh, well. So on this second coat, I'm doing kind of like a crosshatch pattern. So I sprayed one way on the first coat, and the second coat, I'm spraying the opposite way. That way we get coverage from every angle, and we don't miss any spots. All right, I think we might be good. Damn, look at that bitch right there, man. Fuck. I have to see if I can't knock it down or something. Other than that, she's looking fucking good. And then I got a little trick for this up here, so don't worry about that. I'll show you how to clean it up super good once she dries. All right, well, unfortunately, this run still looks like fucking Shiza. So I think what I'm going to do is once it dries, I'm just going to sand this down and touch it up with the paint. And I think that should be good. I hope because literally everything else looks so good. It's already taken up that wrinkle finish. But this little bitch is messing us up. 
All right, guys, this is going to be the fourth and I believe final coat. It's looking pretty fucking sick. Like you could already start seeing the wrinkle finish happening on the bottle. On the can here, it says that it takes a minute for it to happen. Yeah, allow two hours to air dry. If paint fails to wrinkle, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, the, this paint dries very slowly. A wrinkle finish does not appear immediately after spraying. So we do have to wait a minute. And look at that. I think the fucking run is gone, boy. I managed to hide it, the wrinkle finish. Oh, thank God, man it hit it really good you can't even really see it no more yeah here's a look around the whole thing looking fucking sick boy god damn let's go oh, let's go let's go so now from here i'm gonna let it air dry by itself i don't know maybe half hour 45 minutes and then uh, let me read this bottle real quick allow two hours to air dry okay yeah so i'm gonna have to allow at least an hour and a half two hours to let it air dry and then um, to fully cure the paint though we have to bake it it says on here to cure paint bake in oven for one hour at 200 degrees okay so yeah instead of baking it because i don't want to put it in the oven in the house i'm going to use a heat gun so i'm going to be out here in a little bit trying to get this shit hot and have the paint cure and we will see the final result I'm not gonna do this though until it cures. That way we don't fuck anything up. But uh, after we do that and take off all the masking, she's gonna look phenomenal. The wrinkle finish came out perfect. It's not like too much to where it looks like shit, but it's just enough to where, God damn, man. And then this run that we had, it completely covered it up. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, yeah, let's take a look all the way around shit looks clean bro damn and we still have to make it look better so from here before i take all the masking off i'm gonna go ahead and do the letters here because we're gonna be using so this is what we're gonna use first i'm gonna use this razor blade to like pretty much take off the paint from the top right there and then i got some 320 sandpaper here this top one is 220 just in case the 320 isn't aggressive enough to clean it up we can go down to the 220 but it should turn out perfect man that sandpaper is going to give it that nice <clears throat> shiny aluminum look and then if the uh if you can see the sand scratches of the 320 too much on the letters then i'll go ahead and just use the uh, maroon scuff pad to clean it up but uh yeah, she's gonna she's gonna look even better than this still. almost got it all clean that last fucking piece thing. damn hell yeah though should have been a surgeon Look at this thing guys holy shit oh my god that looks so fucking sick boy oh my god it looks literally brand new man holy shit and then even closer up you can start to see the wrinkle finish and then this is where we had the run but it fixed itself man i mean i did a little bit with the rag like kind of try to spread it out to flatten it out a little bit and it seemed to work man oh my god
God. Taped off right in here. That way we didn't have any paint like where the gear is and shit. But uh, yeah, so this was the trick right here. Look how clean that looks. So like you guys seen, I took the razor blade, took off all the paint that I could, and then just went in with the sandpaper, man. I started with 220 and then did 320. And then I did just a quick little pass with the uh, maroon scuff pad right here after that. And then that's what we have, man. Oh my God, look at, that's the money shot right there. God damn. <laughs> that was quite a bit of work, but I think it's worth it, man. That thing looks... <sighs> that makes me feel nice, man. I don't know what it is about Honda, but they got my motherfucking heart and soul, bruh. But yeah, so the last thing is going to be to get the block, the head, and the valve cover all put on top of each other how they should go so we can see like the final look of it it's not going to get like bolted down or anything but uh just to see how it's all going to look together man hijo de su pinche madre mira nomas que chulada this shit looks so clean bro oh my god it looks so official bro it looks way better than I imagined. I knew like the paint was gonna do pretty good. I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it look like fake or tacky and everything, but all together, man, oh my God. It pretty much looks like a brand new setup, man. <laughs> Let's go. I, I do still have the tape on it just to keep protecting it while I get it together, but damn, oh my God. Everything just turned out so good. Jesus. And then back here where I didn't paint the head just because it came out really clean. I didn't really have to do anything with that. But yeah, man, this thing is a gem. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. It was a lot of work to get it to this point but that's what I wanted, man. I just wanted a fresh start with it, have it look clean and just try to maintain it like that. You know what I'm saying? Versus just starting with something ugly and just throwing it in. I didn't want to do that. That's just not my personal style, but we made it happen, man. That shit looks so sick. Oh my God. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are excited for this build. It's just going to keep going. Um, uh, things gonna turn out clean man i appreciate you guys watching this is where we're gonna leave it off make sure you guys like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one Peace.